PET and PET-CT scans help to diagnose and stage some cancers. They can help your doctor decide which treatment you need and whether your treatment is working. PET and PET-CT scans show slightly different things, but the process of having them is the same. OK, so first of all I'd like you to get changed. For some scans, you should not eat for four to six hours beforehand. For others, there is no preparation. Your appointment card will give you details about what you need to do. Once you've changed into your gown, the radiographer will weigh and measure you. Then you have an injection of a very small amount of radioactive drug called a tracer. This is what shows up on the scan. The drug is usually a form of glucose. Right, I'm starting now. Does that feel OK? Yeah, that's fine. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's all in now. I'm going to take the needle away because we don't need that anymore. After the injection, you rest for about an hour. This allows the tracer to spread through your body. The scan shows up cancers because they use glucose in a different way from normal tissue. When you're ready for the scan, the radiographer helps you lie on the couch in the correct position. I'm just going to pop this under your knees, so just to help your back stay comfortable. You're going to move in and out of the scanner. Nothing's going to touch you or anything like that. You must keep very still. And close your eyes because this light's quite bright. Once you're in position and comfortable, the radiographer will leave the room. You need to lie as still as possible while you're having the scan. You won't feel anything, but it can be difficult to lie still for up to an hour. If you begin to feel unwell or want some help, you will be able to get the radiographer's attention. Are you OK, Charlotte? The radiographers control the scan from a separate room, but they will be able to see and hear you all the time you're having the scan and will check you are OK. We won't be long now. OK, that's all done now. We'll get you out of there. Are you OK? Good. You can pop your arms down now. Once the scan is finished, you can go home. As a precaution, you should avoid contact with pregnant women and small babies for six hours after your scan. Your specialist will give you the results, usually within a couple of weeks.